Just right, we can catch this unicorn! Enough waiting! I wanna win! Uh, I'm frozen! <laughs> Noob, I didn't program a unicorn quest rainbow magic to be that easy. Lila, you're really missing out. I'll be there as fast as I can, but I can't go into a game without a perfectly customized character. <gasps> Shawnee, you put in purple high tops and leopard print combat boots? How do you expect me to choose? <laughs> Johnny, your game's awesome, but I keep getting frozen in ice when I want to be the first to catch the unicorn. Molly, you gotta be patient. This game's all about timing. Uh, does timing look like honey? Because I'm seeing honey. Me too. My screen's got a case of the honey drips. Strange. I didn't program honey into my game. <laughs> What's happening? Hmm, there must be something wrong with my laptop. I'm gonna have to shut it down and take it apart. But your laptop's hosting the game. We can't play if it's shut down. My code can't be the problem. Tiny it power. has to be the hardware in the computer. It'll take a while, but... <gasps> I have an idea! We keep the laptop on, shrink down, and go inside to fix it. It'll be way faster. And then we can get back to the quest. Hmm, I suppose it could work. I can wait. I'll use my buffness Hi to get XP and get even more buff. And take your time. I'm still deciding on belt color. Hot pink or fuchsia. Oh, or maybe magenta. I hadn't even considered magenta. BRB, we're going AFK. Tiny power! Yeah. Holy hard drive! Who knew computers were so cool? Technically, not all computers are. I customized each and every transistor chip of mine. It's a slow process, but huh. I never thought about a keyboard from this perspective. The letters are upside down. Coming straight for us? What? Who's typing on my laptop? Captain Collie Wobbles? A minor cat astrophe. Glad you're okay, because the honey stuff's definitely getting worse. If we don't fix it soon, honey will take over Unicorn Quest Rainbow Magic forever, and that will be one sticky situation. <gasps> Polly, we need to go tinier to reach the code. You got it. Tiny power! This is the code to my game. That lines the coding for my fairy wings, and that's all the options for eye color. <gasps> you can customize the eye color? What's that part for? <gasps> Me? I didn't code that. It has to be a hardware problem. My code was perfect. Not anymore. It must be a computer bug. Or computer bees? These bees must have been the work of a brilliant hacker. Or it could have been your cat. Oh, that cat does love a warm keyboard. Maybe if I remote access the code with my phone, I can delete the bees. Yeah, be gone, bees. The bees are regenerating. 
loading faster than I can delete. Uh, hate to be a buzzkill, but I found the hive! Maybe I'm not the coder I thought I was. Yes, you are. You just gotta think. Maybe if I delete the whole game. No way we're deleting it when I know we can fix it. If the hive's in the game, we'll have to go in and defeat the bees there. Hmm. I'd have to rewrite the code so we can play from inside the computer. Nick, Lila, get ready to play the game of your life. Oh, yeah. Bring it. Hmm. I should add wings if we're fighting bees. I hope this works. Whoa. I knew I programmed it to auto-recognize a returning player, but I never expected this. Shawnee the coding genius. Holla! Uh, Nick. <laughs> the hive's over there. Those bees look dangerous. Any ideas? Hmm, the bees are a glitch. But how do you defeat a glitch? The glitch! Polly, you're a genius! I am. Whew. I programmed a wishing well into the game to store items, but anything I put in it would be gone the next time I turned on my computer. It's perfect! If we put the bees in the well and shut the computer off, we get rid of them for good! I like it, but how will we get the bees into this, uh, glitching well? Hmm... We can use flowers to lure the bees and trap them in this honeypot. It may look small, but I programmed it to be, um, not small on the inside. To do this right, we'll need to wait for Lila. Enough waiting. I want to win. And she's off. Uh, unbelievable. not going with the fuchsia. If you do it too soon, they'll get out of the well before we turn off the laptop. How are we going to do that from inside the game? We've got a friend on the outside. More bees! Let's do this! Captain Collywobbles! Captain Collywobbles! Here, Kitty Kitty! Wake up! It's okay. Now I need you to be a... And hit that little old power button for me, okay? Ugh. Nick, help me get his attention. Hey, cat! Hello! Over here! Are we there yet? Not yet. Wait! I see it! <laughs> oh, let's drop the bees in now! We have to wait for Shawnee's signal. Uh, not the screen, the keyboard! Uh, can I do it yet? Wait for it! Wait for it! Ugh, this isn't working. Or maybe it did work. Polly, now! 
it's fixed! <laughs> oh, <Let's> yeah! <sighs> Thanks for being patient, Polly. Sure thing. And I am so done with bees. <laughs> <laughs> of babysitting buns done, and I'm gonna go big! Oh, Polly, you are a lifesaver! Or rather, a daddy-daughter date saver! I can't wait to add taking care of twins to my babysitting special skills. Hi, Coco! Hi! Hi, Vera! Hi! Oh, hi, Polly. Thanks for watching the girls on such short notice. Our regular babysitter canceled last minute and... CJ! Best babysitter! See? Oh... CJ was invited to a very prestigious babysitting conference. But we're excited to have Polly here, right? I want CJ. Uh... Be easy on Polly, Coco. <laughs> I'm sure you'll like Polly just as much as CJ if you give her a chance. I promise we'll have a lot of fun. Here's a list of things the twins need to do before we get home. Call if you need anything. Lila! Uh... All you can eat crab awaits! And all you can dunk butter! Oh, and Polly, please keep Coco and Vera out of my room. Bye! Okay, girls, what do you say we get started on this list? But I want to have fun. Uh, CJ never do that stuff. Hmm. Eat broccoli, brush teeth. Okay, we'll start with this whole bag of fun stuff I brought. Yay! <laughs> Little. Well, little is all in the eye of the beholder. Go big! Ooh. How'd it do that? Uh, uh, uh. A magic bag never reveals its secrets. <laughs> what now? Hmm. Go big! to do? I have lots of ideas. Like, we could start your dad's list. Uh, we could play in Lila's room. Uh-uh-uh. Lila's room is off limits. Besides, I've seen her room, but I've never seen your room. I bet there's all sorts of neat stuff in there. Yeah, we got neat stuff. Ooh, is that a dollhouse? Do you like to play with dolls? Yeah, we play dolls with CJ for forever. Well, I love dolls too. And forever sounds awesome. Okay, where are your special dolls? My special dolls? CJ brings special extra fun dolls. I wish CJ was here. Well, I can do one better than some special doll. Really? Watch this. Tiny power! Wow! Wee. How'd you do that? You magic, Polly? <laughs> Kinda. Go big! Whoa! Go. Tiny power! Yay! Tiny power! Hmm. CJ can't make herself into a doll. Well, I can. I'm Dolly Polly. Whoa! Wanna play Dolly Polly tea party? I'm usually more a hot cocoa girl, but a tea party has never sounded better. Thank you for coming to the tea party, Dolly Party. Bye! It was an awfully short party. Maybe we could have another kind of party. Like a seven-course dinner or a dance marathon? Hmm. Dolly Party Makeover! Okay, that sounds nice. Are you thinking like a facial or manicure? <laughs> What do we do first? Haircut? Color? A tattoo? All of it! <sighs> ah! <gasps> Those poor dolls! <gasps> and poor Dolly Polly! <laughs> <laughs> Thank you. 
I'm good just the way I am, hair and all. Hmm. CJ never say no. <laughs> hey, no more Jolly Polly and no more makeover. Okay, we can play something else. <laughs> what are you doing? <laughs> <laughs> If I were two tiny four-year-olds hiding in a giant house, where would I be? <sighs> you just had to show off and show them how the locket worked. Oh, no sign of them! Time to call in reinforcements. Shawnee. Hey, Polly, what's up? <sighs> well, I'm babysitting Lila's twin sisters, and I wanted them to like me, so I risked my generation's old family secret. Major babysitting no-no. And now they're tiny and lost somewhere in Lila's house. How do I find them? Did you check between the couch cushions? Not here. Hmm. Well, what about the bathroom? Not here. Uh-oh. Lila's calling. Thanks, Shawnee. Bye! Hey, Lila! Everything's dandy here. How's the daddy-daughter dinner date? Oh, I am stuffed with stuffed crab. I'll tell you all about it when we get home. Home? Now? Oh, cool. Cool, cool. <laughs> and how long do you think that will take? Three or four hours? Mm, more like 20 minutes? Depending on traffic. Hey, Polly. How's that to-do list going? Oh, it's, uh... Going? And the girls are staying out of my room. Your room! Of course! Everything's gonna be okay! Thanks! Bye! Sorry, Lila. But I really hope they're in here. Vera! Coco! Come out, come out, wherever you are! Games. And you both are gonna get a stern talking to when we're back to normal sized. Go big! Aw, but I like being teeny tiny, and I don't like talking twos. Hmm, CJ never made us go big. Oh, come on! CJ never made you go any size! And I don't care anymore how much you like her better than me! So maybe I won't be the fun babysitter, but I'm gonna try and be an okay babysitter by finally doing your dad's list. And an okay friend to Lila by saying, get out of her room right now. Hmm. Just three teeny bites of broccoli. Don't they look like tiny trees? Whoa! Okay, tiny power! Giant broccoli trees! Haven't you always wanted to eat a tree? Time story. Me! Go big! Oh, but, but, can we stay teeny tiny while you read? Please? Hmm, okay. If you stay in bed, I'll let you stay pocket sized. Yay! You're nice, Polly. And then the princess swooped in to save the. Q, 
you got them to do everything on the list and actually put them to bed? Wow, CJ never does that. Really? But, you know, being a good babysitter is not really a competition to me anymore. <laughs> We did puzzles, and played dolls, and Polly did magic. And we ate giant broccoli, <sighs> as big as trees. <laughs> <laughs> what imaginations. Sounds like you two had a lot of fun. Oh, and we played hide and seek. We found the best hiding spot. Yeah, inside Lila's room. <laughs> Unicorns in the sky, 99 unicorns fly high. I saw another, I told my mother, 100 unicorns in the sky. Woo! <laughs> Woohoo! Ten minutes to Rainbow Funland! Hear that, Pierce? Only ten minutes left to tell us what you spy. After we've been waiting ten hours for you to take your turn. Fine, I'll go. I spy with my little eye a really lame family vacation that I'm way too old for. <laughs> That's not how I spy works. Besides, you can never be too old for Rainbow Funland. Their motto is fun for the whole family. Ugh. <laughs> gotcha! Come on, Pierce. You loved it the last time we went. Because I was a little kid. I'm older now, way more mature. Well, we're all gonna have fun as a family. Way more mature or not. <laughs> oh, no! Oh, this thing dies so fast! Oh, are you serious? Just gonna grab my charger. <laughs> and then, after that, we can skip the line on Fairy Flight Ride by using our rainbow magic passes. <laughs> Who knew the real magic of unicorns was letting you skip the lines? Those passes are key to making the most of our Rainbow Funland experience. I'm not surprised Polly's still into baby stuff, but you two, you always struck me as more mature. I have a very mature appreciation for Rainbow Funland, the greatest theme park ever. I've even read the founder, Nathaniel DeCornia's autobiography four times, and unlike your comic book, zero pictures. Uber mature. Huh? Uh, what? Not oh. good. Unicorn Farm next exit. Hmm. Time for a quick pit stop. A flat tire? Oh! Was making such good time. Well, at least it happened here at, uh. Oh. Welcome to the one and only Unicorn Farm! Tire trouble, huh? Bummer! Well, it's only flat on the bottom. <laughs> I'll get it fixed and we'll be out of your hair in no time. Uh, Miss. Starlene, in no rush at all. While Pops handles that tire, the rest of you can enjoy the Unicorn Farm on the house! Nah, there's no way I'm going in. Uh, Mom, can we go in, please? Ba 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 ba, ma 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 ma. I guess everyone wants to check this place out. Thanks, Darlene. We're in. Sorry, but those things are not allowed. The blinking lights freak the unicorns right out. Really? I can just turn it off. No rainbow Funland unicorn horns. Farm policy. Um, uh, how you doing? <laughs> uh, really? <gasps> That's Rainbow Funland just over that wall! We're almost close enough to smell the cotton candy! Ugh. I wish we could, because this place smells like a better version of that Rainbow Fun Scam. You betcha. Who needs that place when well, you've got the unicorn farm? Besides, there's no one who knows more about unicorns than your old pal Darlene. Well, Nathaniel DeCornia does. He's the genius architect of Rainbow Funland. I know who that conniving pipsqueak is, and he does not know more than the unicorn queen. Now, who wants to pet a real unicorn? Oh, me, 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 me. See? Hand in the air. 
wait, real unicorns? They're just over by the bar, little ladies. Now let's get you some tickets, Jordan! Oh, that'll be $75, please. Whoa, whoa, whoa. I, I thought you said on the house. Looking is on the house. Petting, you need tickets for. Oh, Baba, will you? Fine, fine. Six tickets, please. You heard the lady, Jordan. Hey, um, so you like tickets, huh? Cool. Yeah, cool, cool. This place seems cool, too. Way better than that lame rainbow funland. <laughs> it's so not cool. It is lame. The lamest. <laughs> Smart kid. Mom, I think I'll stay out here. But I bought you a, a ticket. No refunds. Let's roll. Whoa. Um, did anyone? just see a ferret running away with a mouthful of rainbow magic passes? Wait, what? Oh, no! Those were our passes! Do you know how expensive those things are? Oh, my parents will freak out! Well, let's go get them back! Darlene's office is off-limits. Please rejoin the tour. Uh, yeah, of course! Sure thing! Tiny power! Gum is so cool. So, uh, how long's your mom been running this place? My mom? <laughs> uh, no. Darlene is not my mom. This is just a summer job. Oh, uh, sorry, my bad. <laughs> Look, do you want to see some of our unicorn-themed souvenirs? We've got pens, bookmarks, push pins. Uh, yeah. Where are you, you thieving weasel? Uh, not a weasel, a ferret. How can you be sure it's a ferret? Because they freak me out. It's like, are you a rat? Are you a squirrel? Make up your mind. Look! Okay, that's the secured. Now let's get out of here before we get caught. Wow. That's some cool technology. What's it doing here? Yeah, this whole farm is beat. But these unicorn pushpins are kind of cute. Hmm. There's actually a lot of cool ideas in here. That ferret probably stole this stuff, too. Now let's go. Wow! It's a unicorn! Aw, it is pretty cute. Of course it is. That's what Unicorn Farm is all about. A chance to interact with real unicorns. Real unicorns? I may not have aced biology, but I'm pretty sure that's a corgi with a horn taped to its head. <laughs> I did ace biology, and that's definitely what it is. <sighs> the unicorn magic only works if you believe in it, girls. Now, who is ready for some grub? <laughs> yum, 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 yum. I guess that means us. <laughs> Huh? Shawnee? Hey, Mom! Go ahead! We're gonna check out the gift kiosk! Look! I think it's that heart thing from the blueprint. Majorly mechanical. Tiny power! Whoa! Shine on! This looks like something that belongs at Rainbow Funland. Maybe Darlene stole it from there. We could report that we found it, and Nathaniel will be so thankful that he'll make me Grand Marshal of the Princess Parade. Hey, Team Pocket, the tire's fixed. Let's hit the road. Or we could just finally get to Rainbow Funland. Let's go. Um, does that ferret think he's coming with us? He's going into the engine. And so are we. What's he trying to do? Whatever it is, it's a well-known fact that ferrets are never up to any good. Hey, stop that! Let's get him!
came here as soon as we heard Dad say the tire was fixed. <laughs> Whoa, I guess Pax was a fan. You know, it may have been a little dingy, but underneath it all, I think Pax saw some magic. Reminded me of how Polly loved Rainbow Funland the first time we went. Everybody buckle up. I'll miss you too, Jordan. Polly, it's just a cruddy toy horn. It was my vintage rainbow funland horn from our last trip. And now it's broken, just like my heart. Come on, Polly. Don't let him see you cry. Pierce! What? I said I was sorry. Actually, you didn't. <clears throat> well, gang, you won't believe what caused our flat. A bunch of these, whatever they are, mystery items. They're just unicorn horn pushpins. Jordan showed them to me at the gift kiosk. Oh, well. Rainbow Funland, here we come! Hmm. Pushpins left in the road, a thieving ferret, and whatever that metal heart thingy really is. What game are you playing, Unicorn Queen? Polly, your mom and I haven't seen you all day. You're seeing me right now. Uh, but we're supposed to have our spaghetti dinner. You remember? <sighs> like the one we had after we took this photo last time we were here. But you two haven't recreated yet. <laughs> wow. Look how little you two were. Not anymore. <laughs> oh. <laughs> Look at a bulge. It's a great memory, Mom. That's what vacations are all about, making memories. And what better new memory to make than staying for the Sorn Snore, finishing the scavenger hunt, and unlocking the Unicorn Castle? Please! Ah, the puppy dog eyes of doom! Oh, okay, okay, you can stay. Yeah! <laughs> yeah! <laughs> Fine, you can stay, but Pierce will stay with you. What, what me? Pierce hates Rainbow Funland so much that he broke my irreplaceable vintage unicorn horn! Ah, oh, why am I being punished because Dad can't resist the puppy dog eyes of doom? I'm weak and I'm sorry. So, it's settled. The girls stay, and so does Pierce. And all the quality time will force Polly and Pierce to make up. <laughs> I married a parenting genius. Oh, what did I do in a past life to deserve this? Opportunity to spend some quality time with my favorite sister. Soar and snore. Soar and snore. Let me take a photo of that pic. Maybe I can convince Polly and Pierce to recreate it tonight. Thanks, Lila. The official, exclusive, and irreplaceable Soar and Snore Lantern Collectible. Oh, yes! yes. Actually, I'm here to keep an eye on my sister and her friends. I'm just a selfless, caring older brother like that. Uh, you have spinach in your teeth. <laughs> <laughs> I do. I mean, I do. I, I was, uh, you know, saving it for later. Didn't know if there was going to be food at the shindig, and I'm in the bulking phase. Okay. Wow. I ate a spinach corn dog for lunch yesterday. So, you've been in there a long time, little guy. Impressive. Mm. Mm. <laughs> oh, your plan to get Pierce and Polly to make up was oh, chef's kiss. <laughs> I guess I really am a parenting genius. <laughs> <laughs> Set up camp? Check. Now we can get down to business. Figuring out the next scavenger hunt clue. The star has to lead to something in the park. Maybe something that can only be seen at night? Northland dragons rise! Seriously, dragons are so cool. Would you like it if 
I ripped up your lame dragon comic book! Hey! Uh, let it go! Uh, Northland Dragons uh, is not lame! Unlike your obsession with unicorns! Uh, it's like you think unicorn magic is real! Unicorn magic uh, is real! And once uh, I find some, I'll use it to wish you uh, weren't my brother anymore! Uh, 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 oh. I wish I could make that wish come true. I'm going to bed. Good! You can't break my things if you're asleep. Come on, girls! Uh, where do you ladies think you're going? Uh, we were just... Uh, uh, uh. You've got to stay in the designated soar and snore area. Plus, you wouldn't want to miss a s'mores. Oh, s'mores? Oh, we love s'mores, but I think we're just gonna uh, hit the hay. Really? Really? Ah. Uh. Really? I'm so tired. Yeah, I could probably use a nap. The sugar rush from that chocolatey, marshmallowy goodness would keep me up all night. Tiny power! This way, we have a scavenger hunt to finish. Uh, oh, so we're not taking a nap? You don't think Pierce will notice we're gone? My non-brother brother sleeps like a log in the middle of the forest wearing noise-canceling headphones. She's ready to get fantastical! And you can't get more fun than s'mores! <gasps> the s'mores have been destroyed! Hmm, I wonder what happened there. Maybe we should investigate. No time. We've got bigger fish to fry. Of the unicorn scavenger hunt variety. Come on! Go big! working, missing s'mores, and now there's a power outage? Oh, what should we do, Nathaniel? Figure out a way to get the lights back on. I'm one more disaster away from having to shut down Rainbow Funland for good. <gasps> no! Rainbow Funland is going to go out of business if we can't figure out what's going on here. Or who's going on around here. Good thing I brought my magnifying glass. Hmm. Those are... Definitely glitter ferret tracks. Come on! Ooh, who knew a gift kiosk could give a girl the heebie jeebies? They're just stuffed animals. See? Ah! It's that ferret from the unicorn farm! Who knows where that drain could lead? We're about to find out! There's my Farley. Oh, it is hotter than an ogre's armpit in there. <gasps> Darlene! It's her! How goes the old sabotage, Farley? Nathaniel will get what he deserves once we take down Rainbow Funland for good. Sabotaging the park is the key to my entire plan. Okay, okay, I know the plan has holes, but what do you want? Holes. Key. <gasps> That's it. Yes! I can't believe it. I did it. Woohoo! Oh! Well, dang, nab it, Farley. You must not have chewed through the wires enough. 
Well, I am gonna need you to get chewing again. That is step 873, you know. 874 starts first thing in the AM. Come on. Shouldn't we keep listening as the unicorn lady reveals her dastardly plan to the ferret? But I know how to find the next scavenger hunt clue. Let's go. <laughs> I really could have used that s'more sugar rush right about now. Go big! I think we just made a memory. There! The dragon statue! Dragon's heart. Maybe that means something. But we don't know anything about dragons. But we know someone who does. You mean my non-brother brother? No way am I gonna ask for his help. There's gotta be some other way. Maybe we weren't meant to open the <laughs> unicorn castle after all. <laughs> oh, does this have to happen right now? It's not even dawn! Tiny power! I'm a very busy banker, and when I say I want to see the progress, I want to see it now. Okay, um, as you can see, the blueprints are really great. I just need to work out a few kinks to get it running. And why should I trust that you can do that? Ever since your partner left, it's been downhill. No one wants to go to a theme park where the rides are constantly breaking. They aren't breaking, they're being broken. Please, if you just... You have until tomorrow night to get this ride running. Wait! Please! <gasps> um, what's the unicorn farm lady doing with Nathaniel at the Rainbow Funland opening? The hair, the eyes, the genetics say it all. Nathaniel and Darlene must be brother and sister. And it looks like they opened this place together. No way those two are related. They're so different. Unfortunately, none of us get to pick our siblings. This is the other half of the blueprint from Darlene's office. It's for the Unicorn Castle ride. She's keeping that heart thing from him and ruining the park. Oh, poor Nathaniel. Poor Rainbow Funland. Poor us if Rainbow Funland closes. I don't get it. If Nathaniel's such a genius, why can't he just build another one of those hard things? Maybe there's more to it than just building. Maybe it's... Unicorn magic? It could be like pocket magic, or leprechaun magic, or bookworm butterfly magic. Last time I was here, I could feel the magic. Last time you were here, huh? Look! Back then, Darlene and Nathaniel were still together. I wonder what split them up. Maybe one of them was a big jerk who broke everything that the other non-jerk one loved. Maybe, but without Darlene and Nathaniel working as a team... Rainbow Funland has lost so much magic, it's about to get shut down. If we get Nathaniel and Darlene back together, maybe we can save Rainbow Funland. I can't believe we've stayed up all night. Shawnee, keep those eyes open and peeled for any sign of Darlene. It's Darlene! With a love of old troll toes! I can hardly say with that thing on! Lila, Shawnee, you're on Darlene duty. Get her to follow you and I'll get Nathaniel. We'll meet you at the rendezvous. Farley, get all these stink pellets on those clouds! <laughs> Let's go fishing. I'm not so sure about this. Don't worry, Shawnee. Check this out, ferret. Kerpow, <laughs> 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 jump! Pig! Get back here, Farley! We gotta finish our stanky mission! Good morning, Mr. Nathaniel, sir. Well, good morning, young lady. Shouldn't you be with the Sour and Snore group? Yeah, but, um, I wanted to interview you. So, uh, did you really open this place with your sister? It, Darlene? Uh, yes, but she left the business years ago. Why? Uh, she and I had a 
this agreement. Uh, why? Big Nabbit Farley! <laughs> well, she was so stubborn and kept going on about how unicorn magic was in the heart <laughs> of the... <laughs> Come back. Since you've been gone, it's been so hard to keep my park. You mean our park? You gave up your half, remember? When we started building Unicorn Castle, we had a deal in place. I can't believe you're my brother. We are nothing alike. You don't even believe in unicorn magic. A business can't rely on unicorn magic. I don't care about business. I want to share unicorn magic with the world. Share it? We should keep it for ourselves. I'll find another way to make this ride work. You can't do it. Unicorn magic is in the heart. So we do it the magic way or not at all. It's mine! No, it's mine! You're fired! You can't fire me. I am the co-owner and I quit! Fine. Rainbow Funland doesn't need you and neither do I. As far as I'm concerned, I don't have a sister. I will, I will never, never speak, speak to, to you again. again! I was right. Rainbow Funland has gone downhill since I left. Oh, please! Your unicorn farm is as low as it goes. Isn't this supposed to be the part of the plan where they make up? Uh, new plan. Go big! Hey, Darlene! I was just about to tell Nathaniel what a fun time my family had at Unicorn Farm. Really? <laughs> I mean, not as much fun as I had when we came here a few years ago, when you both were here. Really? Yeah, well, I guess Nathaniel does have business smarts. And you have the magic touch. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Stink pellets! <laughs> oh, Stink pellets? Well, who could have Oopsie. Darlene! Ugh. Tiny power! So, turns out, the new new plan was a bad bad plan. What now? Hold on now. That was before we- Save it! I gotta go clean up another one of your messes. It's all your fault the bank is gonna shut down the park tonight. Oh, no. Oh. Yeah, let's get some ice cream while I tell you all about the mess I made. Two unicorn conies, please. <sighs> I know that ruining the park was my ultimate plan, but I didn't know how bad it'd feel when it worked. Maybe all I really wanted was to get Nathaniel's attention, get an apology, and maybe get my brother back. Family's more important than being right about some old argument. Huh. Yeah. Oh, Farley. I wish I had a quick way to bring the magic heart here and get that ride running to save the park. But it's so big. It would take a week to deconstruct it, move it, and rebuild it. That's it! We can move the heart using tiny power. That could save the park. If we write notes from each of them to the other, we can get them to meet up, and the magic will get them to make up. Hold on, girls. Time to kick things into montage speed. I'm real glad you wanted to meet. What? You're the one who wanted to meet? How in the wide, wonderful world? Only one explanation. Unicorn, Unicorn magic. magic. Yo! 
<laughs> the magic does work best when... We're working together. I'm so sorry I ever doubted you, Darlene. I'm sorry, too. Brother and sister forever. Forever. Oh! <laughs> we did it! Brother and sister together again. <sighs> I... I think I need to find Pierce. Pierce, time to wake up. We really need to talk. <gasps> Polly, I'm so glad to see you. I felt so bad about those things I said last night that I hardly slept a wink. <laughs> yeah, I didn't sleep either. I'm sorry. I messed up a lot this vacation. I'm sorry, too. I didn't mean that stuff I said. You'll always be my big brother. And you'll always be my baby... Uh, slightly younger sister. <sighs> so, do you finish that scavenger hunt? Nah, but I'd rather hang out with you and the fam today. We made it to the last clue, though. A dragon with... A keyhole? Like the dragon key from Dragons of the North? <gasps> ah, the keyhole at the heart is a misdirect. All dragon fans know that the real key to a dragon's heart is in its mouth. Well, big brother, want to help me do the honors? Woo! Awesome! We have a scavenger hunt winner! Yeah. All ready to take the first ride? Wait, something is missing. My family. Close your eyes and make a wish. I wish that for you. you! Wow, unicorn magic is in the heart, and my heart is with my family. <laughs> Everyone will have a chance to ride. Nathaniel, this is incredible. This ride is sure to be a hit, and ka-ching! <laughs> I certainly won't be shutting you down now. How did you do it? Unicorn, unicorn magic. magic. <laughs> <laughs>